Hey everyone, Jeff here from Wedge Clamp Systems. I'd like to speak to you today a little bit about our full frame anchoring system. It's not widely known. It's been out in the market for a number of years and it works fantastic. It works great on all of our light duty pickups that we have on the market today, uh, whether it be a box section, a closed C section, uh, or an open C section. Uh, it works effectively on all of those, providing a solid base for anchoring uh, for all your pulling needs. So, uh, Let's have a look at it, see what you think. It's good practice to position vehicle evenly between the floor anchor rails. Apply e-brake and wheel chocks. Next, jack up vehicle and position jack stands for support. Gather a swivel clamp and a half inch impact. Find a suitable location in the front torque box area free of obstructions. Note the impact is only used to snug clamp fasteners into place. Final tightening is done after all clamps and fasteners are into place. Repeat for left and right front torque boxes. Note, clamp is square and flush to the underside of the frame. Now install clamps at the rear torque box locations. Position all clamps within one inch of each other along the length of the frame. The view from the top shows how adaptable the clamp is to various widths of frames. Note how square and flush clamp is positioned. Now install the pull down bars, left and right, front and back. Next steps include installing the anchoring cross beam at the front of the vehicle and prepping your jack by removing the jack's lift saddle. Note the beam is heavy and may require assistance to move. Once the beam is on the jack, rotate the balanced beam approximately 90 degrees so it will clear the jack stands as you roll the jack underneath the vehicle. Now position anchor beam evenly between the pull down bars. Lift up partially and install one swivel base plate per side. Install C spacers, even amount per side. The spacer amounts, top and bottom, are adjustable, allowing you to set the desired working height and adjust for differences in height, front to back. For the demo, we installed an even amount, three on top and three on the bottom. Clamp system will configure itself to any unusual frame shape. Position anchor cross beam evenly over the anchor rails in the floor. Note the beam is now jacked up against the swivel base plate and the spacers. It's now time to install the R7 anchor stands. Now position the stand under the cross beam on the left and right sides of the vehicle. Align stand and anchor bolts together, leaving all fasteners loose at this time. Lift vehicle high enough at the front to remove jack stands and remove. Now carefully lower vehicle onto the R7 stands. Now move jack to the rear and prepare to install rear anchoring hardware. Again, position beam on the jack longitudinally for ease of installation. Straighten and position anchor cross beam in preparation for swivel bracket and C spacers as you did previously on the front of the vehicle. Position anchor cross beam evenly left and right, jack up, remove jack stands and install R7 stands with anchor bolts as you did previously on the front end. Now we can start to install the C spacers and wedges. Loosely install the full spacer square and wedge. Do not push wedge all the way through. We will hammer the wedge in later. Now install remainder of the six spacers, three on the top, three on the bottom. Once again, if there is a difference in height, front to back of the frame, you can adjust spacer amounts to compensate for the height difference. As an example, three and three on the front, left and right, and maybe five on the top and one on the bottom on the rear, left and right. Once the left and right spacers are installed on the front and back, drive wedges firmly into place with a three pound hammer. Make sure weight is on the R7 stands and jack stands used to support the vehicle are removed. Now install length bars left and right and drive in wedges as shown. The picture shows how everything should appear at this time. Note stands have no wedges and anchor bolts are loose. Before moving forward, it's very important to sight for the front or the back of the vehicle 
across the front and rear anchor beams. They should appear level with each other, or either the R7 stands are in need of adjustment, or there is a twist in the vehicle's frame. Make adjustments accordingly. Once bars are level, front to back, we can insert and drive into place our wedges on all four stands with a three pound hammer. No wedges fit only one way into stands. Before tightening bolts, push rail spacer wedges snug into place. Their purpose is to take up space between the stand and the anchor rail prior to tightening. Using a flex bar or equivalent, tighten anchor bolts at the base of the anchor stands. Use of an impact gun may shorten lifespan of any faster on the system. Now tighten all clamps using the same procedure. Note after initial pulls are performed, it is always recommended to retorque tighten all clamps. You are now ready to pull. To disassemble, simply reverse steps in reverse order of installation. It is critical when disassembling the system to ensure wedges are removed from the R7 stands before jacking and attempting to lower the vehicle. For more information, contact your local body shop supplier or give us a call at 1-800-615-9949 or look us up on the web at www.wedgeclamp.com.